Well, my next guest is the current and 57th governor of the great state of Missouri, which is hosting us this week. He served with distinction in the military, law enforcement, and in the Missouri House and Senate, as well as being lieutenant governor. Our first guest became governor on June 8th, and we are delighted to welcome to the show Missouri Governor Mike Parson. Governor, thank good you, to have you here. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank I, you. I want to say thank you. Your constituents in Missouri obviously love you. I think they're so happy that you have taken office. And uh, I, I want to talk about you got this word that you were going to become governor a little unexpectedly with the previous governor's resignation. Where were you when the call came and what were you doing? Well, I was actually on the farm back home uh, moving cattle the day that, <laughs> the day that call came in. So. You literally d had no idea you were about to get this call. I had no idea. D did you then call your wife and say, uh, well, guess what? I think we have a move in our future. What, what yeah, was the next thing you did? Well, you know what I did? I, I called my wife, uh, maybe saved a little money on that also because she was shopping in Springfield. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, I, told her she did, I told her she needed to come home. Uh, it, and, and truly, it was a very serious matter for both of us. And I told her she needed to come home. We need to prepare to go to Jeff City for uh, for, to get in the process of transitions. You well know. I you, know you have it been very through this. well. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I have been humbled by past governors, past chiefs of staff, past legislatures have contacted me and offered their assistance, offered their help. And from other states, too, yeah. I might add, that's called in here, wanting you to succeed. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, as you well know, being a governor, it's important to you succeed because you're representing, for me, over six million people here in the state of Missouri. And I want to do a good job. I want to go out there and help them every day. Uh, one of the things that impressed me was that prior to your swearing in, you did something that I thought was very admirable. You wanted to have a prayer service and dedicate your tenure as governor to God. Uh, Mike, it was important for me to, to start with that because everything that my whole entire career has been based on has been based on faith uh, and that guidance to for every decision you make. and and especially in the positions we hold of, of legislators, of being a sheriff, of all the titles I've had, there's none more important than being a Christian. These folks are grateful that you're looking above for some answers. Uh, you mentioned you've been a sheriff, you've been a legislator, lieutenant governor, now governor. You got your start in a gas station. <laughs> I, did, I did, I did. I, I started out uh, pumping gas, fixing tires, and changing oil. I don't guess it was ever a moment when you were pumping gas or changing a tire. You said, by golly, one day I'm going to be in the governor's mansion of Missouri is what I'm going to be doing. Well, you, you know, uh, it, it's kind of funny. I, I joke around that a little bit, but I say, you know, I always say, you know, when I was pumping gas and fixing tires, nobody ever wanted to have the photograph with me. <laughs> and, and now, you know, I'm on your show. I'm thinking I probably wasn't planning on that, but, it, but it's truly an honor to, to be in the position I am today. And, and I'm just humbled to be here. Uh, and, and the people of this state, I just love. I love this state. When I come back out of the military, I said I would never leave, and I never plan on leaving. This, this is home to me. What's the biggest challenge that you face as a governor in Missouri? You know, I, I think two of the issues that we have to face in the state, one, one's infrastructure. We have to do that. And the other is a skilled workforce. And that's a problem all over the country. And we all have to do a better job as leadership of making sure that our young men and women have the opportunity to, to be uh, good stewards be into the workforce and everything. But more importantly, I think, Mike, for me, it's about we've all probably had the privilege to live in the American dream to a certain mm -hmm. degree. Most of us have, sure uh, have that are sitting in here in this room probably. But I think it's so important that we make sure to preserve that American dream for the next generation. It is such an honor and a real privilege to have you here. Mike, thank you so it's much. It's an honor for to be on your show, Governor. I appreciate thank it. Thank you much. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Governor Mike Tyson. And if you'd like to keep up with Governor Parson and his administration here in Missouri, just visit governor.mo.gov.